For Wednesday, June seventh, two 2017, this is Epitome. Episode 8. With this brief allegorical tale, our first offering of fiction, Epitome returns to its core theme, time. Edward John Morton Drax Plunkett, 18th Baron of Dunsany, born July 24, 1878, died October 25, 1957, was an Anglo-Irish writer and dramatist. His work, mostly in the fantasy genre, was published under the name Lord Dunsany. He published more than 80 books, and his works include hundreds of published short stories, as well as plays, novels, and essays. He is best known for his 1924 fantasy novel, The King of Elfland's Daughter. He worked with W. B. Yeats and Lady Gregory, and received an honorary doctorate from Trinity College, Dublin. Lord Dunsany published quite a number of very brief tales, once called short short stories, now often referred to as flash fiction. This is one of them. The Castle of Time Presently there was a stir in one of the houses, and a bat flew out of the door into the daylight, and three mice came running out of the doorway down the step, an old stone cracked in two and held together by moss, and there followed an old man bending on a stick with a white beard coming to the ground, wearing clothes that were glossed with use, and presently there came others out of the other houses, all of them as old, and all hobbling on sticks. These were the oldest people that the king had ever beheld, and he asked them the name of the village and who they were, and one of them answered, This is the city of the aged, in the territory of time. And the king said, Is time then here? And one of the old men pointed to a great castle standing on a steep hill, and said, Therein dwells time, and we are his people and they all looked curiously at King Carneth Zo, and the eldest of the villagers spoke again and said, Whence do you come, you that are so young? And Carneth Zo told him how he had come to conquer time, and save the world and the gods, and asked them whence they came. And the villagers said, We are older than always, and know not whence we came, but we are the people of time, and here, from the edge of everything, he sends out his hours to assail the world, and you may never conquer time. But the king went back to his armies, and pointed toward the castle on the hill, and told them that at last they had found the enemy of the earth, and they that were older than always went back slowly into their houses with the creaking of olden doors and they went across the fields and passed the village. From one of his towers time eyed them all the while, and in battle order they closed in on the steep hill as time sat still in his great tower and watched. But as the feet of the foremost touched the edge of the hill, time hurled five years against them, and the years passed over their heads and the army still came on, an army of older men but the slope seemed steeper to the king and to every man in his army, and they breathed more heavily, and time summoned up more years, and one by one he hurled them at Carneth Zo and at all his men, and the knees of the army stiffened, and their beards grew and turned gray, and the hours and days and the months went singing over their heads, and their hair turned whiter and whiter, and the conquering hours bore down, and the years rushed on, and swept the youth of that army clear away, till they came face to face under the walls of the castle of time, with a mass of howling years, and found the top of the slope too steep for aged men. Slowly and painfully, harassed with agues and chills, the king rallied his aged army that tottered down the slope. Slowly the king led back his warriors, over whose heads had shrieked the triumphant years, 
Year in, year out, they straggled southwards, always towards Zoon. They came, with rust upon their spears and long beards flowing, again to Astarma, and none knew them there. A foolhardy mission, that of King Karnath Zo, wouldn't you say? This story reminds us of those three Latin sayings with which we started this podcast. Tempus fugit, time flies, memento mori, remember you die, carpe diem, seize the day. And remember the adage, Living well is the best revenge against the onslaught of time. Until our next episode, this is Bob Gonzalez wishing you the best time of your life.